Morning, my Valentine. How are you? How are you? Hmm? Good nap? Good nap? Hmm? He's got some long nails lately. We need to cut it. Because he keeps scratching his face, especially when we leave him in here. And he like um, cries and fusses a little bit. For like less than a minute, he goes, Mama! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I scare you, baby? <laughs> Happy Valentine's. Will you be my Valentine? Hmm? 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 Baby boy? Alright, so we are definitely transitioning him into this Nuna. Because he's a big boy now. And he is outgrowing the snoo, which is over there. He's just bumping to the corners here and there. So we're going to have to figure out how to put him in here. It's going to be a little bit difficult because... This boy likes to roll. And when he rolls, he lays on his tummy and then he barfs. So it's going to be a little bit difficult. Have, yeah, you. And we um, have to take this off because this is completely aerated. 360 to give him some air. <sighs> Hopefully it won't be a struggle to transition him. Hi, honey. Happy Valentine's. Baby's first Valentine. I love you. He likes to gnaw on this because it helps him with his teeth. So I'll just leave it here. Hi, huh, baby. Can I get a smile? Okay. 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 <laughs> Happy little one. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Lately, he has been wanting to be held all the time. Super cranky. Wants to just be with us. He doesn't want to be in there. He doesn't want to be in there. He doesn't want to be, you know, alone. He wants to be with us. Huh. All right. So last night, he was like um, drooling a lot. And so in this area, it was like really rashy. So we put Aquaphor in. And this morning, he looks much better. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Uh. Okay, Brian's working and um, he just ordered some blue jam breakfast. Um, let's see what we have here. We have crunchy French toast. Um, let's open this up so you guys can see. They're known for their French toast. Um, they also have this restaurant, this chain in Japan. I was surprised when my sister told me there was one. So yeah, here it is. And then we have um, breakfast burrito. This is a lot of food. Um, here it is. Oh, and the and the um, potatoes are so good. I like it like this small, nice and crunchy. I usually like hash browns, but I'm actually okay with these types. Sometimes it could be too big, but these are just perfect and nice and crunchy. And then we have chiquiles. Chiquiles. And then, whoa, that looks like heavy. And last but not least, a steak hash. Whoa, this one's also very heavy. Okay, bon appetit. Um, Husby. We also have classic ketchup. So this is the fancy stuff. Let's see. It is um, Sir Kensington classic ketchup. No GMO. Are we calling? Huh? He's just kicking up his back feet and kind of getting on his knees a little bit and pushing forward. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, big boy. There, there, so you're just kind of pushing up. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, hey, big boy. Hey, sunshine. Hey, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. These guys are great. Oh, see, see, he's just kind of pushing his bum forward. Do you see it? Mm hmm. Hi. 
much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. <laughs> there it is. It's just pushing himself. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, okay. You need to be in a contained space. Your playpen's coming home real soon. That's mommy's hair. Gosh, don't eat it. Okay? Big boy. Soon enough, he's going to be walking out this door, chasing girls. Running. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Bum Bum. This just came home. I am super excited. Brian, can you open this for me? It's for baby. It's supposed Soft to be building blocks, but they're soft because this boy likes jam in his face. He always takes this and goes clunk, 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 clunk. So I want to be extra careful and make sure he doesn't like jam his head into these blocks. Look how cute they are. They're like dog toys. Should we throw these in the wash? Probably um, came from Wuhan. <laughs> we'll see the instructions, see what we should do. Should yeah, we wipe it China? down? They all come from China, but... Um, you should probably just throw it in the wash. Let me see. You could rinse one now and give it to him. How cute, bunny! These building blocks are to play and learn early. Um, it says they're stackable, squeezable, teether, and floatable. But this toy is not for eating. Just gnawing, I guess. So it also sounds from squeezing. Number zero to nine with plus, negative, and equal sign. 12 different shapes as texture playing. 12 different animals. Nine different types of fruits that correspond with counting numbers, 12 colors. I just washed it and put it into the disinfectant and hopefully it'll be A-OK -okay to play. Here it is, got on Amazon. Okay, I'm going to eat the breakfast that my husband got me for or Valentine's, I suppose, this morning. Um, and answer questions here. Um, Tan Win says, Baby Ryan, Ye Tungkwa. Thank you so much. Ling Ling says, Baby is so cute. I love watching him. I feel like I read this before. Okay, keep going, keep going. I, I did. I did read it last night, and so I gotta like um, move up. Um, okay, Bernard Amador says, Oh my god, he's so cute. Thank you so much. Lily T says, He's Scooper the Snooper. Such a cutie. Yes, he is such a snooper. Like everything we say, he just like, I'm like, Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, Mind your own business. Daisy Toe says, um, poor little guy, he just wants to join the fun. He always wants to join the fun. But sometimes um, my husband's working, so he's trying to catch up with work. And I'll get mad at Brian, too. I'll be like, look, you know, you only have one son, and this is what you want. So, you know, take some time to spend with your kid. But he's just so backed up with work, and he's, like, trying to chase the time to get his um, submittals in for his job. So he's super stressed, and on top of that, you know, he's got to deal with me and my nagging, which is like, you know, every single day. So it's not me that changes, it's him, okay? He needs to get his work done and not, you know, go into my time and baby's time. It's just how it is. So figure it out. Balance. Um, Tyler H. says, he's so cute. Thank you so much. Um, Lun Din says, An min oi, đừng rap em như vậy vì em chồng mình cũng làm như vậy. Um... Và em bé đã qua đời ba tuần trước. Oh my god. Um, uh, vì bị kẹt và thở không được. Um, uh, con của em chồng mình khoảng 5 tháng. Oh my gosh. So, um, we are definitely transitioning him out of the um, snoo into the nuna. Um, the reason why we haven't before is because I feel like he's always throwing up when he rolls over and so when he throws up he smashes his face into his spit up and it's like we don't know like in the middle of the night so we always have to double check and see and he doesn't really sleep well maybe he's not used to it but um, 
we uh, we have to just do it and just bite our tongue and just figure it out because if he can get out of his swaddle then he definitely needs to like graduate from it so we are definitely getting rid of that and not dealing with that anymore I'm so sorry for your loss um, condolences to you and your family um, we will thank thanks for letting us know as well um, uh, Chell Bell says you two make cute baby you definitely should have more um not with brian working like this i don't feel like i don't feel comfortable with having more babies and responsibilities and you know he's always working and i don't think it's fair for baby or me to um you know bring someone in and you're just gonna ignore them you know i know there's work and there's all these things that you have to do in life but you know, the point of life is to live, and if you're just gonna work all day, then you work all day, but you have to know that no family. <laughs> That's just it. You gotta give and take, you can't have it all. Um, Jasmine's boss says, your relationship with your husband is so awkward that makes me cringe. That it makes me cringe. Um, I feel like awkward is good, weird is good, because we're not, you know, the norm, and being different is good. And, um, in this time and age especially being awkward is cool <laughs> okay so um i like being awkward um if you don't like it and i feel like this person always has the intention to say something negative or bring bad vibes i don't know i just feel that kind of energy from this person and so i guess my advice to you if you really don't like it and makes you cringe that bad then you know don't watch it's pretty much easy peasy Susie QB says from the video it looks like he's trying to crawl it's coming he is so sweet he is trying to crawl he's trying to push himself up and like roll he, he can do a 360 turn like he'll just keep rolling 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 and then he'll reach you know 360 sometimes he'll get caught and then he'll freak out and start screaming and so I figured we definitely need that play pin that I ordered that's coming in next week. Hopefully it'll come in uh, early next week. We will see. And then he can have all the room he wants in that space. Alright, so Erica N says, there was something I came across a long time ago that says whichever parent the child looks more like resembles most, they will be closest to. I don't know if it's true, but my two-year-old looks like just like me and she is a lot like me and super close to me. Haha. <laughs> Since your son looks like you most, maybe he will be closer to you. Who knows? Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know who he looks like yet. We haven't figured it out. Our whole family is just like, who does he look like? Even my friends are like, you know. And then there are other people who swears he looks like Brian. And then other people say he looks like me. And some days he'll change back and forth. And I haven't really seen it, you know. I, I see him as Ryan and he has his own little look. But... Um, definitely right now he's closer to me um, I breastfeed him all the time right now he's probably cluster feeding or going through a growth spurt because he's sleeping more than usual he's supposed to be sleeping about 14 hours a day but he's doing like I don't know 16 17 hours a day like non-stop sleeping and non-stop on the boob like almost every hour and a half or you know I feel like I don't even know what he's drinking like is he drinking enough is he drinking 30 ounces because he's breastfeeding so I don't know how to calculate it but I do it until he's happy and content or he knocks out and um, maybe sometimes he's using me as a pacifier but it's okay because you know he's gonna grow so fast and we're gonna be like you know over it soon people always say don't let them do this and don't let him do that and so I get it but I feel like um, he's gonna grow <laughs> I'm pretty sure by that time he's not going to be you know on my boob a year or two is probably the max where um the boob issue is gone or the anxiety is gone or whatnot probably not even a two years just a couple months under a year i would suppose so yeah um i mean i'm pretty much um easy going when it comes to giving in <laughs> i do give in a lot to my friends my family my husband my baby and so i don't mind He's gonna grow for sure, so I will definitely regret it and miss it if I didn't try my best to give him whatever he needs to make him happy. And I've been doing some research and I really think that, you know, holding him and hugging him and picking him up 
is definitely not going to spoil him. I've been telling my husband just to keep doing it. My husband keeps telling me to let him cry because he thinks I spoil the baby too much by breastfeeding him, hugging him, and cuddling all day. And then it's harder for Brian to handle him when I'm going to work on the weekends. But I really think that he needs that love and um, affection now when he's a young kid. I know that I'm, as me, as an adult, Sometimes I'll throw tantrums at Brian because I don't get attention. And so I feel like if he doesn't give me that attention, I feel really sad and depressed. And then I'll think about it forever and I can't sleep. And so I feel, as an adult, that way. So I would assume babies probably a lot more because he's like immature in, in his head. He's still growing. And yeah, I'm pretty sure if he feels lonely and sad and no one's there to pick him up or love him and whatnot, then it's very... um disappointing for us to not be able to provide that comfort and love for him so i've been nagging at brian for the past couple of days to pick him up <laughs> pick up the baby <laughs> i don't think that um it's gonna be bad for him but that's just me who knows whatever you guys are comfortable with your kids and whatnot i know the older generation is most likely gonna be like no leave him alone i'll do that for like um sleeping at night and like um what do you call it uh sleep training but lately i have been pulling back because he as he's getting older he's got more teeth and he's sweating sweating like a lot so we'll let him cry for like less than five minutes and he's like dripping and drenching in sweat like i'm i'm serious like he's probably like you know it feels like he's coming out of the um shower or the bath like he's just dripping in sweat so i don't like that and so i had to pick him up right away cuddle him take him out of the uh, swaddle and maybe because he's using more energy to escape the swaddle which is another thing that that um person advised me to do to not swaddle the baby because he's trying so hard to escape the swaddle so they're sweating and probably going to be really suffocated by the time he um, gives up and it's probably too late. So, um, I've been taking him out and just cuddling him and um, we haven't really been doing sleep training very well um, because he sweats a lot, that's why. And we thought maybe it's because we can take a certain amount of time to let him teeth, but then if two teeth are coming in and another one comes in, he's got like 30 something left or you know, in general all together so <laughs> I don't know when he's gonna stop teething so from, from now on we just cuddle him and hug him and give him comfort how many how many teeth do you think he has left Brian I know but how many do you see in there oh, he has two right now. but I thought you said you felt some in the back in the top, but I'm not sure. okay well whatever it is if he's teething, it's going to be a moment until we can start doing sleep training again because he's going to be fussy, 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 fussy all the time. And when he's fussy, he struggles. When he struggles, he sweats. So sleep training is not good right now. Crying it out method is definitely not going to work when he's drenched in his own, you know, body liquid. All right, so I'm um, going to eat this and then um, head out to the airport in about an hour. Um... I think I have everything packed and ready to go. So I am heading to Des Moines, Iowa at Meskwaki Casino. 2 p.m. and I'm about to leave my babies. I'm gonna take them out. Okay. His, um, his blocks are done so he can play with it. I think he can play with one or two. Let's give him a blue one. A heart, a blue heart. Goodbye, booby. Here. Here you go, baby. Okay. Ugh. You're my Valentine. Here. Oh, thank you. Do, do, do. Not you. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Hey, squeeze oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry. Squeeze it. So he knows it squeaks. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna breastfeed feed him for like five minutes and then gotta go. Kai? Ready? Ready? See him in like two days. Hi, baby. He's pooping now. His little pooper scooper. Farting everywhere. 
Oh, I smell it. Okay, take him. Take him. Did he leak? Oh, go no, on your pants. See, your pants all brown. Oh, shut up. Bye. <laughs> to Des Moines and flight is delayed again. My earlier flight was also delayed, so that's why I said again. I don't know if I mentioned it, but got myself some hot wings from Pizza Hut and um, a Coke. Here it is, Valentine's dinner at the airport. Bon appetit. Flight is delayed some more, so... I decided to get some hot dogs only because it's called Steve's Snappin' Dogs because he's snappy. My boo boo. Happy Valentine's, Steve. Here's my hot dog and we are still waiting. There is no plane yet. Finally boarding. It is 1 a.m. and I finally landed in Des Moines, Iowa. 1 a.m. stop at McDonald's. Happiest place. Happy Valentine's! Happy Valentine's! Happy Yay. Valentine's! Yay. <laughs> Leo fish and some fries. I can't see. It's too dark, but... We have arrived! And it's snowing! Oh my gosh! I have arrived. Room tour. Here's the restroom. Shower area. And then we have mirrors and closet. I don't ever use a closet. There's no point. I keep everything in my luggage. Because it's just easier that way. Um. I did my hair this way because I wanted to look like kind of beachy wave, um, you know, something different. And it's super fuzzy right now. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it for tomorrow. It depends on how I feel. Like I feel like super lazy to do my hair. Um, we'll see, we'll see. And um, here's the bed. It's, um, it is 2.52 a.m. And then uh, we got the TV going on right here. Refrigerator, yes. Oh, and we have a freezer right here. Let's hope this works. Let's turn it up all the way, please. And then we have, um, let's turn on this light as well. I always like turn on the lights when I'm at the hotel. And then close this area because it's cold. But anyways. I was asking them if they have a freezer and the guy was like, um, you can put it outside because it's snowing. <laughs> All right, let's close this up. Okay, I pumped and this freezer seems to be working. Let's find out tomorrow morning. Okay. All right, guys, it is the end of the day. It's about three. Whoa beginning of the day it's 3 40 a.m february 15th and um i'm just gonna settle down um wishing you guys a uh, good valentine's day i didn't get to spend it with my family but like i said before me and my husband don't really celebrate valentine's day we just kind of 
do it every day and um you know we've been married for a long time so we just express ourselves every single day um uh i guess you can say that my valentine is really scooper i know no bum bum <laughs> okay so i'm gonna call it a night i'm super tired super super tired and um Let's get some snooze in. Happy Valentine's.